Hello Water Signs, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here with me for your tarot reading. This is going to be for all the lovely water signs watching or to the people who are dealing with the water sign as well. This reading could be for you. Um, and we're going to be looking at the next cycle you're entering into in your life. So your next major cycle, what's coming up here um, and what you can expect in this cycle here as well. So I am very excited to be doing this reading for you. Uh, if you enjoy this one, feel free to leave behind a like um, and also to subscribe to the channel to get notifications for readings for your sign or your element um, for those after private readings please feel free to email me uh, i am currently accepting those otherwise um, anyone who wants to join the channel as a member feel free to do so um, that will gain you access to extended readings and bonus videos um, otherwise let's have a look and see what's coming up what next cycle um, are you entering water signs What's the next cycle here for you? Okay, Six of Cups, beautiful. Um, this is really speaking about following your peace, following your happiness. Um, but I also feel like the Six of Cups is the past. So for a lot of you, this new cycle that you're entering into it has something to do with a past life or it has something to do with your past somehow. So um, don't be surprised if in this time frame you hear from exes or you revisit your childhood or you go back and live in your city or your state or your country. It's about getting back in touch with your roots and your inner child. Um, it could also be a new cycle of fertility and building a family. So I think for a lot of you water signs, you might be needing someone who's going to give you children. You may be having children, um, celebrating children, adopting. Um, it could also be a new period of learning here as well. But let's lay out some more cards and see what comes up here. Water signs for you. Okay, big changes with the Wheel of Fortune. Fate is on your side. There's something about being, it's, it's a very special time in your life right now. Um, okay, definitely lots to do about relationships here um, and finding your forever person. I think you can certainly expect that. So we've got fertility's come up a couple times, Six of Cups and the High Priestess. So lots, uh, you know, children and creating a family, creating a legacy is coming up very strongly around you. Um, this next cycle, I see you settled here, water signs. You're going to go from the Six to the Ten of Cups. Um, some of you may end up um, in love, in a relationship, moving in or having a child with your ex or someone from your past. Now, if it's not a past relationship, um, it could very well indicate that this person is from your past life. So it may be that once upon a time you were twin flames. It could be that you shared a special or sacred connection with this person in a different lifetime. Um, for those that are open to this concept and, and feel like you have that, you might be meeting someone who just feel so familiar you'll feel so comfortable with them it's almost like you've shared a lifetime of memories together and even though they may not be next they could be someone completely new but deep down in a very spiritual way they'll be able to offer you that happily ever after so there's a wonderful outcome here i think it's a lot to do with like family and growth so i feel like you're entering the cycle where you're making amends lots of reunions coming your way uh, and it could be with any sort of significant relationships in your life it doesn't have to be romantic it could be the brother or the sister you had a falling out with um, it could be coming back into a family reunion it could be patching up family dysfunction uh, it could be reuniting with a very good friend <clears throat> excuse me so uh, anything to do with sacred connections or friendships or relationships you're going to be revisiting those um, and there's going to be harmony once again where there might have been anxiety or despair or the falling apart of relationships or connections that's about to make a massive change here so you're also entering into a period of, of the high priestess so i feel like there's a lot of fated things that are going to be making their way into your life um, things that you sort of didn't see coming um, the High Priestess, you might also be sort of tapping into your psychic abilities or your spiritual energy, and you may make a business out of it. Some of you, you're entering into a cycle of working from home or creating an empire from the comfort of your home. So if there's something you're thinking about doing, um, 
you know, starting your own business, creating your own label, getting into an online market, fortune is on your side. Now, this is also wealth that's coming in. So for a lot of you, this, this past person or past connection or this past dream um, is going to bring you more fortune into your life here. You'll be able to create more memories and have more resources in your life than, than previously um, possible. You do have a prominent fire um, energy around you. So a fire personality, such as uh, an Aries, a Sag or a Leo, is going to be making their way into your life. Um, it's a very strong attraction uh, and it's going to happen very fast. So it's this could very well be the person that's going to bring you this past life connection or it's going to this person's going to bring you love and fertility they may even have children uh, they may even have a family or you're going to feel this beautiful closeness to them uh, water signs that you maybe haven't felt before um, we've got this moon here so cancer this could be you coming up um, cancer again is a very nostalgic sign it's a nostalgic energy uh, but also cancer as a sign is is very emotionally humble and to have this come up in your reading i feel like you're going to have much more emotional security than you ever thought possible it's almost like you're going to make it make something that much better than maybe it previously was uh or you're just going to make the most of this past life connection and like i said you'll you'll feel connected to this person Maybe you have shared a lifetime of memories. Maybe you've been together briefly or long term and you've created a life together and you want to get back to that life. It's like the universe is going to send you an opportunity to make that happen. Um, but wouldn't be surprised if some of you are buying a home. You're sort of creating a nest here. You're wanting more stability. Uh, you know, you sort of want to settle down a little bit more. That need for like having a more calmer um, life or karma relationship or more settled, I suppose, not as chaotic um, is definitely coming up. There's endings, there's people and places you're going to be saying goodbye to, uh, but there's also new starts that will come up here as well. So you've got two, um, number two here and two ones, which makes two and two. Really powerful cycle of relationships. Two is a relationship number, but nine is of endings. So once you say goodbye to something, the universe is going to embark you on a new beginning. So we've got Cancer with the Chariot and also Capricorn. Some of you may have a destined Cappy coming into your life. Um, but I feel like there's a lot of emotional fulfillment, a lot of Cancer energy, which is telling me emotional fulfillment is happening here um, and attachments that you're going to be forming. But romance romance is a is a wonderful new cycle here um, and creating a lot of romantic new memories that maybe you haven't experienced before here as well so that is very exciting um, i will leave it there what a sign so thank you again for watching don't forget to drop a like uh, and also to subscribe to the channel and i'm sure we'll be in touch soon so much love and bye for now